open your camera and um, um, show yourself to our audience. Hi, hi everyone. Sorry, the internet connection is quite loud right now. But... Mm -hmm. oh, hello, hi. Sorry, the internet connection is quite bad right now. But anyway, hello everyone. I'm Melissa from the Yonge College, and it's a pleasure to meet you all. Thank you. Thank you, Melissa. We are also joined today by Christian Roy Cruz, who will be representing Kanata for their presentation. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, Melissa, are you ready to start your presentation now? Yes, I am. <laughs> okay. Uh, you, the show is yours. Okay. Thank you so much for that. So, hello, everyone, and good afternoon. Um, before anything else, I want to show you a very short clip that will show you a glimpse of life in Niagara region. So without further ado, let's go. Okay, so can you see the screen well right now? Now let me um, start my presentation proper about Niagara College. Um, if ever I have a problem with the connection ko or I don't want to hear it, please let me know in the chat box. So let's start. Okay, so Niagara College is located in the province of Ontario, Canada. So we are the second, it is the second largest province in the country and also its most populous one. Uh, almost 40% of the can of Canada's population is here in this province. Regarding the weather, as you can see, aside from winter, it is neither too cold nor too hot. So when we naman tayo gaano mahirapang mag-adjust. Weather and the war. Okay, so Niagara region. Niagara region is one hour and 30 minutes away from downtown Toronto and it's 25 minutes away from Buffalo, New York. So if you have a US visa or if you have relatives there, then you can visit because it's sobrang lapit lang. The largest tourism destination in Canada, Niagara Falls is also located here in this region. 
Okay, ngayon pag-usapan naman natin ang difference ng college and university. So they're the same level of education but they have different methodologies. So ang university, it's more focused on professional and academic programs. Whereas ang college, such as Niagara College, mas focus siya sa career training and trades. So madaling sabi, mas hands on yung education na makukuha nila. Okay. So, Niagara College is a school that wants you to be empowered. We have small class sizes, we have a 93% international student graduation rate, and we offer more than 130 programs. So, whatever your background may be or whatever your plans may be, it is highly likely that you will find a perfect program at Niagara College for you. We are committed to student satisfaction and success. 88.1% of our graduates gain employment within six months of graduation. And 91% ng mga employers very satisfied sa performance ng Niagara College graduates that they hired. Niagara College students or themselves have consistently given the college top marks in student satisfaction among Ontario colleges. So all of these are just a testament as to how great the quality of education is at Niagara College. We have two main campuses. We have the Daniel J. Patterson and the Welland Campus. They're 20 minutes away from each other and they're both very, very near the Niagara Falls. Aside from our two campuses, we also have what we call the global campuses. We have one campus in Toronto, Canada, one in Saudi Arabia, one in Suwon, South Korea, and one in Wuhan, China. So for clarification, the school that we will be talking about today and the school that I will be presenting about today will be our main campus or yung itong Daniel J. Patterson and the Wedan campus. Okay? Okay, now, let's talk about the Wedan campus. This is the campus that houses the schools of Allied Health, Community Services, Justice and Fitness, Media, Nursing and Personal Support Worker, and Technology and Trades. So, one of the man in Daniel J. Patterson. So, dito naman yung mga, dito natin makikita yung programs or schools of business and management, environmental and horticultural studies, hospitality, tourism, and sport, and the Canadian Food and Wine Institute. So, the credentials or ano yung mga credentials ng programs na meron tayo? We have one year undergraduate certificate programs. We have two year diploma programs. We have three year advanced diploma programs. And we also have four year degree programs or yung mga bachelor degree natin na programs. Aside from this, we also have graduate certificate programs. One year din ito. So ano may graduate certificate? Uh, madalas tanongin, is this also a masteral? The answer is no. Uh, a graduate certificate or a postgraduate program refers to that as a higher level than bachelor's degree, but it's not yet the level of a master's degree. Okay, I hope clear tayo doon. Now we have three intakes here at Niagara College. We have winter intake every January, spring intake every May, and fall intake every September. So we have co-op, internship, and field placements. These are what we call here in the Philippines as on-the-job training. So but there in Canada, meron tayong mga work integrated, yung iba natin programs. At ito nga yun, yung mga co-op, internship, and field placements. Okay, pupunta na tayo sa exciting part. Let's talk about some of our programs. Simulan natin sa allied health studies. Here meron tayong pharmacy technician, community pharmacy assistant, dental office administration, personal support worker, and dental assisting. So one of the month, ito yung mga nursing programs natin. Meron tayong community dental health, palliative care, nursing leadership, and healthcare management. So ito yung mga para sa graduates natin ng nursing dito sa Philippines. Okay, next, justice and fitness. Meron tayong exercise science, fitness and health promotion. Kapag naman related sa law or criminology yung background mo, pwede mo i-consider yung 
police foundations, Book protection, security, and investigation, custom border services, and yung private security. So one of the months, sa media programs natin, meron tayong public relations, social media management, graphic design, game design, computer programming and analysis, broadcasting, photography, computer systems technician, and art and design. Okay, next for our engineers or yung mga nasa field dito. Meron tayong industrial automation, carpentry, civil, construction, electrical, electronics, mechanical, photonics engineering, multi-power technician, renewable energies, and welding technician. Now let's move forward sa Daniel J. Patterson naman na graphic. So, simulan natin sa business management. We have a lot of business programs here at Niagara College. We have business analytics, human resources management, international business management, supply chain management. We also have honors bachelor of business administration. We also have different diplomas in business. Pwede mag-focus ka sa accounting, international business, or sales and marketing. Meron din tayong business general. Next, meron din tayong mga office administration programs na pwede rin general or pwede focus sa health services or no executive. Okay, now let's move forward to Canadian Food and Wine Institute. For those whose passion is cooking or you want to make this your career, pwede pwede nyo i-consider ito. Meron tayong artisan distilling, beverage business management, culinary innovation and food technology, go master in brewery operations management, winery, culinary management, culinary skills, and baking and pastry arts. So one of them, hospitality, tourism, and sports. So as mentioned earlier, one of the biggest tourist destinations in Canada is located in Niagara region. So where else is it better to study hospitality than the epicenter of hospitality itself in Canada? So at the program started, my hospitality and tourism management, esthetician, hospitality hotel and restaurant operations, sport administration, and tourism management, business development. Okay, so last, let's move on to environment and horticulture. Meron tayong programs in commercial beekeeping, ecosystem restoration, environmental technician, greenhouse technician, horticultural technician, and landscape technician. Now that we have talked about the different programs, pag-usapan naman natin, paano ba ang student life in the San Diego College? Well, first of all, we give support and advice to our students. So, you will have access to international student advisors, mentors, and many, many more. So, if you have um, concerns regarding your program or let's say nahihirapan kayong mag-adjust in Canada, etc., pwedeng-pwede kayong lumapit sa ating advisors. Next, health services. So, you will have access also to primary health care through our guard.me insurance. This insurance is automatically included in your tuition fee. So, you don't have to worry anymore. Diba? Sabi nila bawal magkasakit, pero hindi naman natin maiiwasan yan. So, if in case you do need help, health-wise, merong-merong din may katulong si Niagara College. So, on odds, transportation, we have the transit app. And this will help you with um, commute. Especially, uh, kapag syempre, pagbago tayo sa Canada, ma maaaring malito. Pero, we will give you uh, no, um, as much help as possible. Next, Career Center and Employment Support. So through this one, you, the student, will have access to help with resume building and job search support. May mga job listings tayo. Pwede kayo mag one-on-one -on -one with the career consultants na tutulungan nila kayo even practicing for interviews and giving advices. The good thing is, aside from you, Kahit yung iyong significant other na kasama mo sa Canada, pwede rin maka-avail ng career services through the community employment services. So, kahit sila, pwede silang humingi ng tulong sa resume building and job search support. Oops. Ayan, nasobra ng next. So, anyway, athletics and recreation, ang meron din tayong mga social activities dito sa Niagara College. Ngayon, pag-usapan naman natin yung ating mga learning enterprises. This is what we call the businesses on campus. 
These are open to the public and this will serve as your laboratory. Let's say culinary program mo pinukuha mo, magsaserve as lab laboratory mo rin yung restaurant natin. Aside from that, pwede rin kayong makahanap na on-campus job opportunities dito. So may mga available din tayong jobs dito. Speaking of work, ano ba ang work rights ng mga international students? Well, first of all, you can work off-campus up to 20 hours a week. You can also work on campus for 12 hours per week. Uh, lahat ng programs natin sa Niagara College ay PGWT eligible. Meaning, ano man yung background mo, ano man yung mapili, napili mong program, after finishing it, pwede kang mag-apply for PGWT. Diba? Isn't that such great news? And by the way, yung sa work off campus and on campus, this is on top of each other. So, bali, kapag meron ka ng off campus work, Optional yun, pwede ka rin mag-apply ng on-campus, nasa sa ilon, and it won't affect the work hours naman. Pwede yung pwede. Okay, so how about the cost of living? The good news is, in Niagara, region, sobrang baba lang ng cost of living. At approximately 400 Canadian dollars per month, you can find affordable, safe, and quality housing. So this is for off-campus housing. At Niagara College, we also offer housing assistance. We have housing settlement advisors who can help you out. Pero at the, uh, at the end of the day, assistance lang ito. Um, si student talaga yung in charge, maghanap ng kanyang teacher hand. Pero yun na, no worries kasi talagang sobrang helpful kami with assisting the students. Okay. Now, ano naman ang admission requirements dito sa Filipinos? First is the high school transcript and diploma. Ang good news ko sa lahat ng attendees natin today, we accept high school graduates from old curriculum and from the new curriculum. So kung ikaw ay high school graduate ng old curriculum tapos hindi ka nakapag-college, okay na okay lang. Pwedeng-pwede pa rin mag-apply dito sa Niagara College. However, if you are a college graduate, ang requirement na lang na kailangan namin from you is your diploma and your transcript of records. As you can see, hindi na kailangan ng IELTS or any English certification dito sa Niagara College for Filipinos. So, yun lang. <laughs> transcript lang and diploma ang kailangan namin from you kapag kayo ay mag apply Now, let's talk about the estimated fees. So, these are the estimated fees for the different credentials. Um, kapag itatagdag natin yung mandatory fees na service fee and medical insurance, pumapalo siya ng 16 to 18,000 Canadian dollars per year. 16 to 18,000 Canadian dollars per year, kasama na lahat ng miscellaneous fee. So, hindi kayo mabibigla na, may babayaran pa ako aside from the tuition fee. Ayun na yan, all in na yan kung baga. Okay, so, what are the advantages of applying at Niagara College? First of all, wala tayong tuition fee deposit for the LOA. Kapag in-apply kayo ni Kanata dito sa Niagara College, wala kayong kailangan bayaran para marisip yung LOA. Mati makukuha niyo yung LOA niyo once na-assess na kayo ng ating admissions office. Next, you can apply for two programs and receive two LOA. So ito yung inyong magsiserve as choice A and choice B. Next, meron tayong entrance scholarship na 2,000 Canadian dollars. So, ito sa entrance scholarship, hindi siya automatically credited sa inyo. But, if you apply through Kanata, eligible kayo dito. So, kapag nakapag-apply na kayo dito, tapos may LOA na kayo, you just request from us, from me, or from me, Melissa, uh, the scholarship application form, and you just need to fill it up. Okay, let us connect. Uh, these are our uh, social media. Feel free to screenshot uh, para follow and like the comment later. We are very active on our social media and we're always uh, giving updates. Para syempre, aware kayo sa mga ganap sa Niagara College. So, monod, ayan. Once again, I'm Melissa Payongayong and my colleague here is Divine Lacuna. So, kami yung madalas makaka-communicate ni Kanata or ninyo mismo once you apply with us. Maraming salamat and see you soon.
If you have questions, yan, feel free na lang din to drop by the chat box. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much for that detailed presentation, Melissa. Okay, as presented by her, uh, there's a wide variety of programs in Niagara College. So definitely there's something for you, even um, wh wherever you are in the industry right now. Um, and you also have the benefit of being near one of the tourist attractions, uh, Niagara Falls. Um, so that's definitely also uh, an advantage if you're going to be applying for Niagara. Okay. Uh, we will now be presenting our own presentation from Kanata and discussing an overview of the process of the application. Um, this will be presented by Roy Cruz. So Roy, uh, whenever you're ready. Hi guys, good afternoon. So for our today's topics, uh, welcome to Kanata Info Session. Thank you, Miss um, Melissa, for the detailed presentation. And um, today, uh, for our today's topic here in Kanata, um, sorry, um, who we are as an agency, what we offer, and what is there in Canada, uh, process where to start, student life opportunities and what's next after your student life. Okay, so Canada originates from the word Kanata, which means village or coming together. So we are one of the leading, leading agencies in Manila for Canada with, five over, uh, with over five years experience in visa processing and student consultation. We are working directly with the schools in Canada. So uh, our mission is to provide or to help our students to achieve their dreams by providing our services at no extra cost. So we, pro, uh, we provide free assessments to students prior to application. We represent them to schools or to your chosen schools. We provide comprehensive list of requirements and guidelines. And of course, we assist you throughout your visa process. So Canada is the second largest country by land with 10 provinces, three territories, and four regions. So Canada is known to be one of the most educated countries in the world. It has, a, it has an international accreditation, affordable compared to US, UK, and Australia. Uh, and then it has diverse culture, society promotes inclusivity, healthy and safe community, global education, uh, language education, exciting campus environment, world-class innovative education, possible migration, and of course, unlimited opportunities. So um, in being an international student has benefits, but before that you have to follow the regulations. So always enroll at a DLI or designated learning institution. Make progress towards completing your program. Respect the conditions of your student permit. You need to stop studying if you do not meet the requirements. And of course, leave Canada when your permit expires. Do not overstay, guys. Okay? So uh, first benefit is you can work while you're studying. Um, it's either you can work on campus, you don't need a work working permit, you, ha you just have to be a full-time student and ha have a valid student permit. However, you can, um, you can work also like a off campus, you don't need also a work permit, you um, the program should be started already, okay, or you are enrolled in a program. And lastly is the co-op, it's like an OJT as mentioned by Ms. Melissa. It is incorporated with the program. Could be paid or not paid, depending on the um, agreement. Okay, and then you can work. Um, here's, here's your um, guidelines for your um, for your working 
um, arrangement. So for during your school semester, you can only work for 20 hours per week during your school semester. And then you can um, work 40 hours or, um, per week during your semesteral breaks or holiday breaks. Second benefit is you can stay after your program, which means um, um, which means it, this is the postgraduate work permit. So it really depends on your program. So if your program is an eight month um, eight month duration only, you will not be eligible for a postgraduate work permit. If the program um, indicated in your LOA or letter of acceptance is a one year program, you are eligible for a postgraduate a one year postgraduate work permit. And um, of course, for a program that has two years or above, you are eligible for a three years postgraduate work permit. Third and last benefit is you can bring your dependents. So they are, these are the only uh, classified or um, known as your dependents, which is your spouse or common law partner and your children. So you can bring your dependents, guys. So for Kanata, uh, we don't collect any processing fees, but for dependents, we collect processing fees. So uh, for your spouse, it would be 30,000 pesos. And for your children, um, depends on the age. So what are the documents you need to provide or prepare upon application? So you just uh, first, you need a valid passport, birth certificate, school credentials, certificate of employment, valid IDs, uh, IELTS result if needed, and your resume. So here is the process. So first is you need to consult with your counselor for your assessment. And second, uh, after that, you have to gather and submit re the required documents for your application for your chosen school, and then apply to a designated learning institution. And um, after that, we will wait for your letter of, letter of acceptance. After you receive your letter of acceptance, we need to confirm your seat and pay your tuition fee. We will assist you to get, uh, to get a medical test. After that, we will um, send you a comprehensive list of requirements. Lastly, we will be the one who will submit your visa application. So for visa application, we have um, two kinds of uh, visa application. So we have regular stream, the most preferred options of students. Second is study direct stream, the um, straightforward or hassle-free type of application. So here's a comparative table of the two. So for regular stream, uh, regular stream, you just need to pay one semester tuition fee, provide a Proof of financial funds in a form of bank statement with one year tuition fee, one year living cost of uh, 10,000 Canadian dollars. There's no need for IELTS. You just need to provide the letter of acceptance from your school, the study plan, and your proof of identity. Um, in study direct stream, it, you need to settle your one year tuition fee, purchase a GIC of 10,000 Canadian. 10,000 Canadian dollars and provide an IELTS result with no lower than 6.0. And of course, provide a letter of acceptance from the school, study plan, and proof of identity. So here are services that we can provide to you. We don't collect any processing fees. You just need to provide your passport, your resume, your academic transcripts. You will, you can avail all our services for free. We, um, you just need to settle or we just need a security deposit from you guys. That is 10,500 pesos only, which is consumable for your visa application and biometrics fees. So you can have your free assessment, unlimited consultation and free assistance. So, um, we're looking forward for your applications. Please follow us or uh, give us a follow on our social media. So here are our socials. So Canada Education for our Facebook and 
Instagram. You can also visit us at our office in Makati. So uh, message us on our Facebook so you can we can book your walk-in. So uh, we are located at the Enterprise Tower 2, Ayala Avenue, Corner Paseo de Ros, Makati City. And of course, are you uh, follow us or subscribe to our YouTube? So we provide a student success stories, uh, more infos about um, study in Canada, program recommendations, and and more, many more. To Canada through Canada. So um, we are opening our floor for Q and A's and our question and answer. So thank you guys for listening to our presentation. So, Andre. Okay. Thank you so much for that presentation, Roy. We will now be proceeding with the question and answer portion. Uh, so, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below or the chat box. Um, okay. Uh, let's start this off. Uh, I have a question here for Miss Melissa. Um, so, someone is asking, is the program offered in an online class setup? Thank you for asking. Asking that question, so in Canada, medyo mas okay na situation na regarding COVID and currently all our programs are in-person programs. So please take note of that. Um, na talagang nag-aan na tayo na magiging person classes na as of fall 2022. Thank you. Okay. Um, um, uh, I have a follow-up question. Uh, do you offer like the hybrid uh, hybrid delivery or like, like a mix of um, on-campus and online? Uh, yes, uh, last spring 2022, we had some programs that had hybrid options, but currently we are working on a maging in person at the university. Okay, thank you so much, Melissa. Okay, Roy, any questions on your end? Um, I have a follow up question for Ms. Melissa. Same um, <laughs> question. Um, so, what are uh, what is the class setup for um, um, Niagara? So, uh, pro or kind of schedule um to two to three days per week or or what are the chances that it, it would be a whole day something like that yes uh, thank you for that question so i know yung setup is yes in person tapos um classes per week is around 80 to 40 hours per week and regarding the schedule itself i cannot say exactly pero um, bago naman, si, uh, bago mag-start yung intake, magkakaroon ng options si student na mamili ng timetable or ng schedule nila. Tapos nandoon sa schedule, makikita nila kung anong mga options nila regarding doon sa, uh, sa classes nila. I hope that has answered the question. Thank you. Okay. Um, I have another question here. Uh, does Niagara offer any scholarships upon entry or uh, when on shore? Ayan. So, kanina ang na-mention kong scholarship is the entrance scholarship. Yun yung scholarship natin for our incoming students. So, if you want I, kapag nag-apply kayo through Kanata, automatically eligible na kayo. So, ang process for getting that scholarship is that pag may LOA na kayo, reach out to us, to Divine or me, and meron scholarship application form na i-fill out. So, ayun, yan, 2,000 Canadian dollars siya. Okay, um, uh, would you mind if I ask a follow-up question? Um, sure. How would the scholarship be uh, applied? I'm sorry. Um, how would we, uh, uh, let's say, benefit from the scholarship? Would it be deducted from the initial payment from the tuition? Or uh, um, let's say, would it be provided once you're onshore? Yeah, can you see my screen right now? Or... Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I am hindi pag mapapahid kayo ng payment, ang tuition fee, hindi nyo siya automatically i-deduct. So, um, refundable siya sa account niyo So, 1,000 Canadian dollars sa first term. And dapat in-maintain nyo yung 80% na average. No worries, lahat ng students natin kayang-kaya itong 80% para ma-receive mo yung 1,000 Canadian dollars doon sa second term. Okay, thank you so much, Melissa. Um, Roy, any questions? Um, what, um, Miss Melissa, um, what is the turnaround time for LOA process? So for our LOA, uh, after application, it takes around two to 
full four weeks bago ma-receive yung LOA. So it depends din syempre doon sa program kasi may mga high demand programs tayo na minsan mas mahirap makakuha ng slots. Pero generally yun, mga two to four weeks. Sometimes ano earlier, depende talaga case by case basis. I see. Thank you so much, Ms. Melissa. Okay, uh, we have uh, some questions asking how much would be the tuition. Um, I believe Miss Melissa mentioned that the average range for tuition would be somewhere around 16,000 to 18,000 Canadian dollars per year. Um, would that be correct, Melissa? Yes, very good. <laughs> <That's> correct. <laughs> okay. Um, and then someone is asking here how much savings you need to have in your bank account. Um, like we mentioned in our presentation, uh, the usual computation for regular stream would be one year of tuition plus the 10,000 Canadian dollars uh, living expenses of the student. Uh, and this can go up if you have dependents coming with you. Okay. Um, okay, Roy, any questions? Um, I have a question here. Do, do you provide free assistance in getting an LOA? So. Yes, uh, we provide free assistance for uh, in getting LOA until your visa application. So, um, it means from start to finish, you just uh, we just need a security deposit of ten thousand five hundred pesos, which will be consumable at the latter part of your application. So, um, yeah, uh, uh, that's our service that we can provide to you, and then um, uh, there's. Uh, one question here, is it possible to apply for a diploma course this September 2022? The course was uh, waitlisted already. So I think I can answer this. Uh, we cannot uh, really apply for September uh, fall 2022 because we have to um, consider also the um, visa processing of for IRCC. So um, applying for a program this year or 2020, uh, this year, 2022, um, you will um, cannot process already or we are not accepting any applications for 2022. So um, uh, we can, uh, you can apply for January or 2023 or any takes in for the next year. That's all. Okay, um, I have a question here. Uh, does Niagara College offer um, any on-campus lodgings or a student quarter section? Uh, Melissa? I'm sorry, I didn't quite hear. Does Niagara College offer? Um, uh, the, someone is asking if um, Niagara College has a student quarters or uh, on-campus lodgings. Ah, yes, yes. So, meron tayong mga ano, on-campus na residents. However, most of our students prefer off-campus because it's generally less expensive. So for on-campus, it's around 850 Canadian dollars per month. Pero yung off-campus, around 400 Canadian dollars, 400 to 550. So malaki yung difference. Either way, kapag naman mag-pursue talaga kayo dito sa Niagara College, meron tayong housing and settlement advisors na pwede rin mag-advise sa inyo ng mga options nila. So no worries tayo dyan. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much. Um, Roy, any questions on your end? Yes. Um, for um, um, Ms. Melissa, for Niagara, um, what are the um, work for part-time or part-time opportunities for our international students there? Okay, so uh, are you asking on-campus or off-campus? Uh, uh, can be oh. <laughs> on-campus. <laughs> so, 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 yes. for off-campus job opportunities, as mentioned earlier, yung Niagara Falls, uh, malapit sa Niagara College. And as we all know, kapag may tourist destination, di ba, napakaraming job opportunities. So, pwedeng options ni student yon. Aside from that, maraming mga home for the agent or mga home care institutions doon sa St. Catherine's, which is also in Niagara region, na pwede rin options ni student na makahanap ng part-time. So, basically, um, Talagang, I'm not exaggerating, pero marami talagang options si student regarding sa mga part-time jobs. On campus naman, yung nabanggit kong learning enterprises, may mga available doon. And meron din mga parang student assistant sa Niagara College, na yung sa library, sa gym, pwede rin sinang mag-apply if in case meron mga available na opportunities. So, thank you. 
Um, okay. Um, a follow up question to that, uh, Melissa. Um, so, uh, do you have any affiliates or partners um, that you uh, that you can uh, apply the students for, let's say, an inter internship or a work placement, anything like that? Yeah, so uh, there mga partners, uh, companies, si Nayadra College. Wait, allow me to share my screen, screen very briefly para mapahapiawan ko lang kung ano yung mga partner companies natin. Wait na. Okay. Okay. Ayan. Uh, so, yeah. Ayan yung ilan sa partner companies natin. Hindi lang sila, pero ilan sila sa mga partners natin na pwede mag-internship or sa co-op ng institute. Okay. Okay, that's a lot of companies. Thank you so much. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, you mentioned earlier um, that you offer co-op, internship, and um, field placement or work placement. Um, so could you give us um, a differentiation from the, uh, from the three? Sure. <laughs> so basically, yung co-op, it's paid. Wait lang, may presentation din ako dyan. I-share screen ko para mag-visualize na rin. Sure thing. Thank you, Melissa. So, yeah, co-op paid position sila with minimum hour requirements dependent on your program of study. Uh, tsaka yung co-op, si student yung mamimili din kung saan siya magka-co-op na program. Whereas yung field placement, unpaid, it is unpaid, it is one of the differences of the two, and si school ang mag-assign sa inyo kung saan kayo mag -work. Ang internships, ang difference nila is that it can be paid or unpaid depende sa company mismo. And dito, si student din yung maghahanap. Usually kasi kapag co-op and field placement, parang it's between the student, the school, and the employer itself. Kapag internship, mostly between student and, ano siya, and the company itself. So I hope that was clear. If ever may follow-up questions pa, ano, feel free to let me know. Okay. Um, Roy, any questions? Yes. Um, I have a question here. Um, um, it is a situational but can be applied to everyone. So um, from Jasmer, um, I work as a virtual assistant and then my boss is from USA. Um, is he allowed or allowed to be my sponsor just for documentation process? purpose so we um for applicants that has uh that is pursuing for application with sponsors so we highly suggest that it um it is to be a a relative so you can prove your relationship with them so uh, for this kind of um approach um we don't usually suggest um, um that kind of approach but um so for everyone's uh, info, so, um, please, um, um, if you will um, pick a uh, sponsor, please, um, or we suggest to be uh, for it to be a relative, so you can prove your relationship with them. Yeah, the, um, that's it, Andre. And then you have some questions. Ah, uh, yes, I have a question here. Um, aside from scholarships, what the uh, what other financial assistance does Niagara offer? Do they offer something like a student loan or anything like that? John, I'm sorry to say, but no, the only uh, financial help we could give is the sa scholarship. And meron din tayong tuition fee discount. So yung tuition fee discount is five hundred Canadian dollars. If you will pay one year ng tuition fee nyo, magkakaroon kayo ng discount na. 500. So, ayan, yun yung mga ma-i-offer namin sa inyo. Okay. Um, I'm seeing a lot of questions here asking for um, program recommendations uh, for their specific field. Um, if you're asking for program recommendations, we definitely recommend booking an appointment with us. It's uh, absolutely free. Um, you can ask an uh, unlimited amount of questions, unlimited amount of times. So I would suggest take the opportunity, book a consultation with us so that we can discuss your future for Canada. Okay. Okay, Roy, any questions on your end? Um, for Miss um, Melissa, for Niagara, um, do you have one plus one program or do you, um, 
what uh what is the setup there for one plus one program so for one plus one program kasi if let's say diba gusto ni student one year yung one year yung gusto program ni student pero gusto niya two years siyang mag-aral definitely yes. like one plus one kasi uh, ang process is while they are studying their first program pwedeng habang nag-aaral sila na mag-apply na sila for their second ano program na option nila so ganun yung process natin and regarding naman sa visa extension um uh, as a school side, mayroon din tayong mga consultants na pwedeng tumulong sa kanila. Okay, thank you, Miss Melissa. Okay, uh, I have a question here. Um, one of the students is asking, um, uh, is a high school graduate eligible to apply for Niagara College? Yes, yes. I'm very happy to let you know. Kasi, uh, di ba sa ibang schools, kapag old curriculum high school graduate, either meron silang preparatory program or kailangan at least naka two years sa college. Pero I am happy to let you know na dito sa Niagara College, kahit hindi kayo na ano, college of Philippines, pwedeng-pwedeng mag-apply. Regarding sa mga possible programs, pwede lang mga business or mga hospitality, yun yung ilan sa options nyo. But ano, for the best, uh, mag-set tayo ng uh, meeting with Kanata para mapag-usapan nyo talaga yung mga gusto nyo or mga pwede nyo kumilin. Thank you. Okay, uh, a follow-up question to that. Um, assuming that the student applying is a old curriculum high school graduate, would it be okay to augment the uh, the, uh, the K-12 necessity with a TESDA certificate or a national certificate? Yes, it is okay, but it's not required. So, <laughs> ayan, talagang okay na okay lang kahit yung sarili nyo lang ang dalhin nyo with your credentials ng old curriculum high school. Yeah. Okay lang. Okay, thank you so much, Melissa. Okay, uh, that's uh, okay, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes, uh, Miss Melissa, do you, uh, do the students need to provide um, additional requirements for, let's say, healthcare pro uh, programs or uh, with, um, let's say, only a high school graduate or applying? Yes, yes. Thank you for the question. That's a very good question. So, um, let's say yung Isa sa pinaka-famous, pinaka-kilalang program sa Niagara College among Filipino students is personal support worker. So yung katulad ng program sa yun, minsan may biology component na kailangan. So usually kasi di ba sa old curriculum high school, yung biology subject natin that night, it's considered a science. It's not listed as biology in our transcript. So may mga allied health programs tayo na kailangan, pero kayong biology sa transcript. So sa cases like that, hindi maaari hindi pa rin yung old curriculum high school graduate. However, mayroon din naman tayong ibang health-related programs such as recreation therapy na walang biology requirement na pwede i-consider si student. Yeah. So kung mapapansin nyo, medyo broad yung explanations ko right now. Pero no worries sa students natin kasi once you submit a meeting with us with Kanata, pwede natin pag-usapan in depth yung mga ano, concerns nyo. Thank you so much, Ms. Melissa. Okay, thank you so very much for uh, joining us today, Melissa. Uh, I believe that's all the time that we have for today. Um, if you have any questions in regards to Kanata or to Niagara, I suggest booking a consultation with us. Uh, the link has been posted in the comment section and in the chat box. Um, so you can definitely book us for free. Uh, ask us all the questions that you have. Okay. Um, so again, uh, closing statements. Um, I hope you have a wonderful day, everyone. Uh, have a wonderful weekend um, and uh, book a consultation with us so that we can discuss your future in Canada and in Niagara. Okay. Okay. Um, that's it for today's webinar. Thank you so much. Um, ha have a great day ahead. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Happy weekend. Thank you, Melissa. Thank you, Miss Melissa.